Hey y'all, this is Joe. Um, out here in my pallet world. Uh, I'm going to try to make something tonight and videotape it, see if I can do both of them. Because it'll probably take me two hours to put this little thing together because I'm going to be moving the camera around and talking as I do things. Uh, what I'm going to make is a, a coffee mug holder. You know, with the little hooks on the bottom for four mugs and then a shelf in it, and a shelf on top where you can put sugar and creamer and coffee, like a coffee bar for your house. Uh, and I'm going to do two of them. One of them I'm going to sand and stain the way I did the coat rack just to put it all together. And the other one I'm going to cut all the pieces for to match it and give them to Gail. She wants to try to paint them and then distress the paint uh, to make it look, you know, worn paint uh, which should go well with some of this palette wood and stencil, you know, coffee across the top, you know, something like that just to see what it looks like. So I'm going to make two of them. It's going to be real simple it's only going to be about 10, 11 inches high. It's going to have a shelf come out the top and another shelf in there. And then screw hooks in the bottom of that shelf to where coffee mugs can hang. So, it'll make more sense as I put one together. But, <clears throat> first thing I have to do is cut my wood. And... You can see those two giant pallets that I broke, brought last night. I already broke all of them down. I uh, got a lot of really good wood off of them. So, what I'm going to do is find three pieces. 25 inches long. It's going to be 10 inches by 25. And the nice thing about this stuff, I don't care what the backside looks like. You know, where it chunked out nails and stuff doesn't matter these are three and a half inches so if I did three boards then it, you know it'd be a ten and a half inch shelf so if I can find three of them because I don't have a jointer I don't have a thickness planer <laughs> hint hint uh, I just have to see if I can find boards that will fit together that are warped and what I'll do is you know because it's going to be back up is going to be like that and that looks fine those match up really well and if I can get one more to fit on there like so without too much of a gap that's the best part about working with this stuff oh there we go so let me get my camera see if I can show you how this is these three pieces are going to fit together for me the gap in between this these three boards is very minimal uh, right there and I like that that's what I was looking for as long as that is 25 inches that I can cut out of those those will be perfect and just trust the tape measure out sorry for rocking the camera it's the best I can do oh heck yeah so first thing I'm going to do is square this end up you know cut it on the saw there then I'll measure over 25 inches and that'll be my back of this thing and I'll sand these down enough to get the dirt off of uh, not any smooth fine sanding or anything and I'll probably cut it to where 
these nail holes those nail holes don't line up you know I have enough wood that I could do it something like that so that's what I'm shooting for let me put the camera back on the tripod and do some work here so all I'm going to do now is mark on these where I want to make my cuts. So my first cut, this one I can make in the middle. I'm going to cut a little windy. pretty windy. So if I have 25 inches in here, which I do, I'm going to make my cuts right here, right here, about here. And then what I'm going to do on the backs of these, I'm going to put Number one, and an arrow that side up. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I know that board is going there. Number two, that arrow up. know what I'm doing here. I'm going to cut these I'll make my 25 inch cut. So, I've got the seven pieces cut that I'm going to use to make this. I'm going to tell you one thing is tough without a table saw and hence is finding enough boards the same width. Whereas if I had a table saw where I could rip some of these down or you know a joiner, something like that. So I'm gonna be saving I'm gonna be selling some of this stuff and saving up to get one. So the only thing I'm gonna do now is rough sand these and then I'll put it together. I'm just using 80 grit sandpaper and uh I don't want them super smooth because this is going to be the rustic one. I'm going to put it together and if I like it then I can cut all of the pieces for gales and it will all be the same and she should be happy. Put my sandpaper on here. By the way, the new sander that I got, I do love it. So let me rough sand these. Mostly just get the dirt off of them and the splinters out of it.
Okay. Now, everything is sanded. I got to figure out what I want where. Here's my backs. This is like a prototype. I'm going to put this one together. If Gail likes it, then I can do hers. If she doesn't like the way this one looks, then I'll have to, you know, redo everything. But, I'm going to show you how I put this together. Get my sander out of the way. You see, I got the saw. I already put it up. I'm done with it. Uh, I'm going to use glue and brad nails. Use my brad nailer Alex bought me. Uh, and I'm going to use one and a quarter inch brads. And I'm still getting used to this thing, so uh, you know, occasionally I shoot one out the side. I'll have to watch that. But being brads, they're easy to just pull through. Uh, I've got my air hose. check my depth of these things because the rack that I did, the coat rack, those were shooting pretty deep. Yeah, that's deeper than I want to go. So let me back this off. It's really easy to back it off, I think. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Now they won't go in too far. But there's a little adjustment here that you can make it go up or down as far as the depth um, shows you on the side there. This is just if single file fire, rapid fire, where you could just do that and it would fire. But I don't need any of that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is put this frame together first, the shelves and the sides nail it together, flip it over, and then put the back on it. So, one thing I need to do is mark where I'm going to want my shelves. Glue. Another thing I have to get are some clamps. I'm learning all this stuff as I'm doing this. That I can sure use some clamps. So let me shoot that together here. All right, getting better with it. I don't think. Let me shoot this side. Whoops. That's what I mean by a clamp. <laughs> Look at that. Put some hooks there. And by golly, that's going to look pretty sharp. I'm going to put some weight on this before it sets too much. All right. That's it. I think that is really cool. But yeah, I'm going to cut it 
Well, no, I needed the shelves to be that wide, so they had to go. That doesn't look bad at all. I'm happy with that. I'll round that a little bit, maybe when we stand the back of it. I like the cracks in there. The, the slats fit together good enough, but leave enough space to let you know that they were pallets. And that's all off of one pallet. And I got enough wood off of that one pallet to make four or five of these things. Uh, but you see what sanding the wood did. I mean, it just made it look new again. And I'll stain it now and see what that looks like. Hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> and I promise you I'll get better as I go along. I'll show this tomorrow with, uh, you know, I wait to put this up until after I get it stained and the hooks on it and put a couple of cups there and stuff on it so it looks like how it's actually going to be used and see if Gail likes this. See y'all tomorrow. Alright, so there is the finished product. Not thrilled with that background, but at least it's something. <laughs> uh, this is how it turned out. It's a very, it put a very light stain on it. I wanted to keep it clean. Clean looking anyway. So it's very light oak with a satin finish. But that's the finished product. That's my coffee mug holder to uh, put up at your coffee bar. I like it. I'm happy with the way it turned out. We'll see how Gail's does with her colors. I'll be back.